Real YouTubers fight against Norman. This is the farthest we have ever been. Hello, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Emerald Kaiser Wolf Click Edition. Um, today we are going up against Norman. Now, Norman is one of the uh, gym leaders in Pokemon Emerald Kaizo, and he is one of the trainers who is also a lot harder than in the base game. Um, at this point in the game, a lot of the plans become relatively complicated. I don't necessarily want to go through like every single individual uh, scenario with you, but we will we will talk about our plan um, before we actually jump into it. As always, if you haven't already, please remember to subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Um, please remember to drink water, stay hydrated, and yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. All right, chat. We have made it to Flannery. This is guaranteed. No! What? It says it's guaranteed. What? I can't switch. You're right. Pursuit. I, can't, I actually can't switch. We're speed tied. <laughs> what? What's happening? Bye bye. And that's Flannery. One death Flannery. Two deaths in the gym total. Could have been one. Pop, 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 pop. Is that it? Oh, Mirage Tower. That's not a trainer, right? Up there? I mean, okay. Chat, here we go. Trippin', 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 not Arbuck. <gasps> okay, I have to catch it still. I have to catch it. 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 Oh, sand. Oh, no. I have to catch it. I have to catch it. What is the what are the moves? 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 I didn't check. I didn't check. I didn't check. All right, get in the ball, Nebby. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. Trippin sweeps the team. Trippin sweeps the team. Uh oh, this is gonna be bad, isn't it? Uh, I can't switch, right? As arena trap. I should have. Oh, I think I made an error. Uh, I think I'm actually in trouble. It does like a lot of damage with crunch. Oh no. Wait, it actually does a lot of damage with Crunch. It hasn't shaken once. That is not good. Wait, chat. I think I wipe. Wait. I think I wiped this. I think it kills my Dawn fan. Please. Come on. Oh, no. I can only take two more of those. Faster. Stupid, stupid, stupid. It has no HP. Wait, what do I do? I can't kill it, right? It's better to get this. I can't. I can't run. I have to. I have to much on if anything. Please. What do I do? What do I do? Why did you switch from Jump Up? Was it Dolphin is better for Norman? Spec, do I kill it? Dolphin for Norman or Flygon for Magma Hideout? I'm gonna do both. How about that, chat? I'm gonna get both. I'm gonna catch it. I'm gonna catch it with this ball. Please, one time! That's not gonna catch. It is. One, two, three! Dig, 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 dig. It doesn't have dig. <sighs> Dolphin, I'm so sorry. I need to prep more. That feels really bad. That feels really bad. Dawnfin is crazy good for Winona, don't tell me that. If I don't get this, I'm gonna be so mad. Okay. <sighs> was that worth it? Flygon for Dawnfin? Dawnfin was really good. But Dawnfin's IVs were so bad. The thing is that my Dawnfin had such bad IVs that it, was, it felt like it was dying to everything. Also, all my mods that die are ground types. Why? We're hatching an egg. Just taking forever. Oh, it's set to hatch. All right, chat. Shiny, why not? Shy not. How did Donphan die? I couldn't switch out of the... Um... I couldn't switch out of the trap inch. I, should, I valued I valued catching trap because my I wouldn't have done it if my Donphan's IVs were better. But since my Donphan's IVs were really bad... Should we check the nature? Maybe it's plus attack. Sassy! Wait, plus special defense? Wait, hold on! <laughs> we look good, right? Everyone agrees we look good for Bagon? Just for the fact that I can't seem to get up there. Wait, did I just clip through the rock? Huh? You can stand on these? Wait, this one's solid. Wait, chat, are you seeing this? So I do not get these fossils because the fossils would make the tower go boom. Okay. Big on time. This is a very important encounter. Like, extraordinarily important. Two or three times, then put to sleep. Oh, even more than once. What's some big on? Not shiny, kind of sucks, but okay. This crutch is like kind of like we could lose the run right here right now, honestly. Okay, well I maybe should have equipped uh Rostberry. <laughs> get actually red, kid. <laughs> oh my god, get absolutely red on. So this catch rate is extraordinarily low. Like, it's like a one in a billion, basically. Like, 
if there are as many lions as the Pokemon could beat, then that's how, like, that's the odds of me beating, catching this Bagon, in other words. Should maybe have more Great Balls. One. Two. Three. And that's the world champ difference, baby! <laughs> that's why they call me the world champ, baby! <laughs> the reason why the lions always lose to the Pokemon, baby! Okay, yeah, sorry, I forgot to tell you guys that, uh, Actually, the catch rates work in Pokemon is that it scales with your, um... It scales with your skill as a player. So, like, when it says, like, one, it's for, like, like for most people. Uh, does it matter? I can't get either of these right. Because I got stupid jump luff. Get rude? I think it's claw every time, right? Only five people have gotten to the fourth badge on stream, now six. Wait, is that real? Wait, is that is that true, Kamo, uh, Kodomo? No lol. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, well, I felt good for a second. Alright, come here, boy. Going to level 46 with the rest of your friends. Pa, pa, pa. Pleno, thank you for the prime. Make sure you join the sub discord. Yeah, John completed this game. Will you see for first never get fourth badge on stream be 2016 world champion? Yes. It's not Norman time yet, but we have three trainers. And the way that Norm works is we have three branching paths that we can take. The first one is either Confusion Room or Crit Room. Kiss, uh, oh no, sorry, it's Speed Room or Crit Room. I think the Crit Room looks easier. I think this plan is okay. I just need to be intelligent here. This isn't this isn't my best plan. Like this isn't my most thought through matchup. Um, the question is on the Crawdon, basically. I'll need to do some thinking mid-fight here. I, I always have speed one-shot. This is the easy part. Um, I need to save. I can't switch Volumen too early because if I switch Volumen too early, I can lose to Ursaring crit. So I think this is okay. Let's just see. We just need one of these not to crit. Okay, perf. Don't crit me. This is probably crit. Yeah, I guess the crit. Okay. So I'm now at 102 HP, but I'm not in range of crit on anything. So I can Muddy Water. This puts the odds on my favor. If I get a crit, that's good. If they don't get a crit, that's also good. Don't get the crit. Accuracy draw? Okay, no, that's fine. Oh, oh yeah. Body sends me. Oh, I missed that that was their strongest move. Um, I made a mistake. Right, because now, am I dead to body some crit now? Oh, I'm super dead to body some crit now. Okay, I made a mistake, that's fine. Um, body some again. I can't go into Armaldo too early. Okay, I'm lucky I didn't get paralyzed there. Um, I think I just have to kill here. They're actually faster than me. I'm not dead to crit though. Yeah, but this messes up the this messes up the the the, the um pathing is the issue. This guarantees Sceptile, right? Or does it actually should go Rapidash here? Oh, okay. Oh, I clicked the wrong things in the calc. Yeah, they should always go oh, Cam Froze again. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I think this is okay. This is still part of the plan. Okay, my backups are actually kind of good. Wild Charge takes a little bit of recoil. The recoil is kind of nice. Don't do too much. Gets the crit. Okay. Um, pull up Grumpy versus Rapidash in the calc. That was their strong. Oh wait, no, Drolin is probably stronger. Man, these crits do a lot of damage. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, the strongest move is drill run. I need to dodge one drill run crit, I think. Here, I need this to not crit me. Unfortunate. Okay, yeah, this is on my plan a lot. Yeah, but that's like a huge hit, unfortunately. Because I was two-shotting with Psychic, and I would've eaten the Orinberry and been out of range. Now I'm in range of crit again. Um, okay. Because Max, I, I can't risk drill run here. And this keeps the pathing the same, because this next bait's in Fero. I'm Flame Body now, very nice. This is probably gonna crit again. Yep. Okay, that's fine though, because I was never dead to crit, and I am faster, thanks to badge boost. I have to be in psychic. Goodbye. Okay. Everything is scope lens, so it's higher to crit range. Right. I mean, I'm still in crit a lot. Okay, that's good. It can't crit me. That was really okay. That's really good actually, because that saves infinite HP. Uh, Rock Spider always kills. I forgot my head slash. That was a good, that was finally some luck. Uh, am I ready to Sceptile here? Probably not, right? Probably not, this should always kill. Bye bye. Thanks, thank you for the two months. All right, let's pull up Sceptile on the Cal, because this bait's Sceptile. Max damage move is Leaf Blade, which is 63 damage tops. And I can never get crit because I'm battle armor, and x should always one-shot. Even if it doesn't one-shot, we're still okay. I can x here, this never kills. Max damage is 63, I can't get crit. Okay, not bad. Bye bye. Okay. Okay, cross drop crit max 90%. That's the one that doesn't crit, really? 
Bye bye. All right, not bad. That was the hardest trainer, I think. All right, chat. No deaths in the first trainer. I think that's the scariest trainer till Norman. The next one is kind of a meme, in my opinion. Like it's kind of it's a little difficult, truthfully, but it's kind of a meme. I need the stall room. That's what I want, right? So, yeah, definitely stall room. It's Poke of Analyxia. Longer the battle, more residual damage. Yeah. So what I on that note, that's why I want to outspeed and one shot this thing. Just clearly. Oh yeah, Guapo. Thank you, thank you. Where is uh Guapo? What's your full username? Let's just close it. Yeah, I, I, it has it has a lot of buffs, but I I got one level forty eight to get the guaranteed one shot. Yeah, no, I mean I like this would be like so much harder without people helping me. So I, I just wanted to say thank you because like yeah, I would be having a much harder time. Like I'm definitely doing a lot of the, the a lot of the battle stuff myself for plans, but I get suggestions and also you, like being told like where everything is and stuff is very helpful. Haha, <laughs> I'm floating. Haha! <laughs> no predictions this time, y'all. I can't lose a mod here. I don't think it's possible. Para para para. Save PB. Nice. Okay. I like to protect. Bop freeze. Rude. Should I hard read the protect? It's gonna protect, right? Get ready, kid. Nice. Where'd you get this wheezing player? I got parrot? Oh, is it out? It doesn't matter, right? Bye bye. I know I don't normally use speed up, but like. <laughs> Good luck from Germany? Hello to Germany. Y'all, if I had to rank the VGC communities, like in tiers, I would put probably only Germany in the S tier. Like, whatever the highest tier is, that's where Germany goes. Two shot pretty much on this, right? Bye bye. Oh, right, it has rest. But this is actually kind of bad, right? Am I gonna run a TP? I should have done level berry. I should knock a parrot a couple times in a row. Bye bye. My golem's level 42! Oh! Oh! Oh, I didn't level up. Oopsie. I was like, why am I. I was like, wait, yeah, I counted to two shot. I was like, what's going on here? Oh, it's faster than me? Uh-oh. Well, I think I don't have anything to do here. Nothing to see here, boys. Uh, I don't really know what to do. I can't get crit. Nice protect, by the way. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, we're speed tied. Uh-oh, go oh, chat. I hope we win the speed tie. Oh, I won the speed tie. That's bad. Now I have more damage on me. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, dust clops. This is Sharpedo. I should have given him anything. By the way, chat, the proper move here is Lepa Berries. I should have given it Left Berries. I have a lot of these, though. Okay, it is pressure. Okay, didn't want to do that anyway. Didn't want to do that anyway. Triple! It's level 42 as well, whoops. Okay, good no quadruple. Pop, 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 pop. All right, you need to... <laughs> it's a good thing this didn't actually matter. This would've been some trouble. Oh, it's faster than me. <laughs> bye bye. <clears throat> bye bye. Let me just double check this thing's moves. Toxic protect charm soft boiled. Bye bye. All right, chat. Enjoy. All right, I should have leveled up. Although, to be honest, like, I think I would've been more careful if there was, like, this- it, I could've been, like, pretty much level 1 here and still 1, except for I like, hard at work. Bye-bye. I'm gonna have so much money. Bye-bye. 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 Nice shot, Tranche. And then this is... Sleep. Alright. Uh, make sure I'm leading the right Pokemon. Me Monkey versus the Smeargo. I outspeed in one shot, hopefully, most of the time. Alright, let's get a shot, chat. This is the last trainer before Norman. Can I go through it, please? Hmm. 
Luke Mall, thank you for the prime. Vital Spirit prevents sleep. Chat, you are one smart cookie. That doesn't really matter though, right? <laughs> that is helpful to know though. Alright, this is only a roll to kill, but I think it's 93.8%. And Prime Up always hits its rolls, because Prime Up eats its weedies. Goodbye. Goodbye. You cursed Pokemon should never have been sleep with Mr. Mime comes out. This is probably Psychic. We prefer Psychic here. Psychic? Psychicers? Nice, because it's a kill. Nice, not bad. No drops, no drops, no drops. Big damage, 17 damage. Okay, I can just, I can actually mag magic code if I want to style, but single beam two shot is fine too. Oh, it's a crit! Grumpig has gotten so many crits. This is actually kind of nice though, because now Grumpig's healthier and can be used versus the Azumarill in the worst case scenario. This is probably a sleep powder. Um, I'm probably not even dead to single beam crit, but let's just follow the game plan. This is only an 80% chance to KO. Never punish always lucky. We didn't need the luck there. Uh, hits, okay, it's kind of bad. Um, I should just signal beamed. I should just it. All right, I just need to get. All right, Pokeball, thanks for stopping by. Um, I just need to hit the roll. It's an 80. It's like an 83 percent chance to kill here. Got the roll. Never, never, never punished. Uh, bye bye. Persian, okay. Persian, Persian, Persian. Am I dead to any crits here? Cool trainer Burke, not very cool in my opinion, but that's just my opinion, but it's fine if you don't agree with me, but also in my opinion, not very cool. Uh, double edge crit never kills me, so I should just flamethrower here. Get some damage down. Okay. Um, that's actually really good because it ensures that it never... Uh, it ensures that it hidden power grounds, right? It could actually double edge here. Nice, yeah, I judge. I wish I could. It's fine. Um... 18 damage is not so much. Uh, Earthquake, thanks to the recoil, actually is a pretty decent shot to kill now. And they could just miss hypnosis as well. Hi, Rock? It's Earthquake. This is not a guaranteed kill, but thanks to the recoil, it's pretty in our favor. That's fine though, because. Um, just body slam? Actually, Rock Slide is better there. It never body slam, but it doesn't matter. Actually, why am I not Earthquake? I don't know why I body slammed. Alright, Chest Abib. We need a Lumberry? God, I hope so. I kind of want to charm this. Surf. Perfect. Okay, in that case, I don't think I need to charm. Okay. Just confirm I'm still out of double edge range. Oh, I'm actually in range of certain double edge crit rolls. It's not part of the plan. But I think it sinks because this is to the kill. Uh, it's only a certain rolls. Okay, not bad. They missed. Um. Oh, it's leftovers. Alright, I'm just like body slamming again, just to get the crit here. I hope they sing again. I made a mistake. Oh no, not good. Don't crit me. Don't high roll for me. Nice. Solid, solid, solid. We are not speed tying. Alright, I guess I missaw how much Surf did. Alright, that was a little risky. I risked one crit. There are two crits there, I guess. Actually, no, only one, because they double edged the first time, then they were in recall range, probably. Yeah, minus the lectures, they would have been recall range. Okay, so I wanted to do a little post commentary here and talk about the plan going into Norman. Now, this is one of our first major double battles in the game, and it's going to be pretty relevant later, the strategies that we use here. Basically, the way that you typically play and try to succeed in while like in a game like Emerald Kaizo is a lot of information is known about how the AI works. Um, one example is that uh, you can, with relatively high certainty, predict which Pokemon the AI will send out next in pretty much all scenarios. However, that becomes really messy in double battles because it, basically the way that it works is which Pokemon the AI, the computer sends out next is dependent on the Pokemon that you currently have on the field. And if you have two different Pokemon on the field, um, it's a 50% it's a shot to pick either one. There's no way to narrow that down. So of course, if both of your Pokemon on the field would send out um, the same Pokemon is no problem, but a lot of the time it creates these branching paths when you're making game plans and that you don't know which Pokemon is coming out, so you have to create different plans for different scenarios depending on what comes out. Um, nor the Norman battle is split into a couple phases. The first is they he leads off with Slaking and Espeon. Espeon is always going to side skill swap turn one, um, and then the Slaking will choose any move. So it's going to try and overwrite the Truant and 
um, and and go from there. Um, my plan for dealing with the first phase of this, which is slaking Espeon, is to lead Azumarill. Um, Azumarill always baits, uh, guarantees Hyperbeam from slaking, because slaking will see a kill with that move and won't see anything else. Uh, we'll lead Golem with this to ensure that slaking doesn't target the partner slot, and then we'll switch, uh, we'll switch Azumarill into um, our Maldo to eat the Hyper Beam, and then we'll switch in Primate, who we've pre-damaged for 1 HP for Reversal, which sets us up for a scenario turn 2, where we can take both KOs, but the opponent can't do anything. What becomes interesting then is that um, Swallow always switches in because of the Pokemon that we have in the field, and that's good because Swallow is going to want to use Quick Attack into Primate um, because of uh, the way the AI works. If you have a Pokemon that's in range of a KO move, um, that is priority. That move is, is used with, um, with certainty. Uh, but the issue, interesting part of this battle is that the other slot, once we KO Espeon, is random. Uh, it's not purely random, but can either be Snorlax or Tauros. Now, this creates branching game plans, and like I don't want to go super in-depth on each of them, but basically what you need to know is that the way that most people wait Norman is that they bring in Snorlax early, as early as they can, because um, the way that Snorlax works is that it doesn't have any damaging moves aside from Snore. It has Rest, Sleep Talk, um, Stockpile, I believe, and then, or maybe it's Curse, I forget, but um, it has a setup move and then Snore is the last move. Um, and with that in mind, it's not, if you don't damage it, it can never do any damage. So you're always trying to beat it in, in a one versus one, or like in, in a multiple Pokemon versus their one Pokemon at the end of the game. Tauros, on the other hand, is actually quite powerful. So um, yeah, I don't I don't need to go through the entire game plan, but basically I have, a, I have I've set up a flow chart that if all goes well, I should account for, for every scenario. Um, but yeah, basically these double battles are really difficult because of the because of the variance, because of the randomness, and because it's not easy to predict with the what the computer is going to do, or you can predict what it's going to do, but it's it's it is a lot more volatility in, in a double battle versus a single battle. So with that in mind, um, I hope you enjoyed the battle. Uh, thanks for watching, and please leave a like and subscribe. Goodbye. I think we are ready, chat. This could be the end of the run. There's a lot that has to go right here, and a couple of things that go really, like, if things go really wrong, they go very, very, very wrong. So, we're gonna give it our best shot here. There's no guarantee that we make it out of this alive. Okay, and now Norman. So, man, my heart's going like a million miles a minute. Thank you very much, Yuri. Oh, Lord, all right, chat. Oh, man, this could be real bad. This could be really, really, really bad. <sighs> okay, come on. We just need to play this well and not get unlucky. But here we go, Norman. Here we go. Oh boy. Ah, uh, okay. There's a couple points of failure. I'll call them out as we get to them. I'll call them out as we get to them. Slaking and Espeon. Now, my understanding of Gen 3 Battle AI is that if it sees a kill, it will always go for a kill. Azumarill is a guaranteed kill on Hyper Beam. So if it were, if it were to do anything other than Hyper Beam my Azumarill here, this would be run ending. There'd be nothing I could do and I would instantly lose. So let's see if my understanding of Gen 3 Battle AI is correct. The rock goes to me monkey, or I rock goes to me monkey. Contentious can't be crit, which is nice. Let's see, skill swap, always. Not bad. Should be hyper beam. Show me hyper beam. And just uh I'm all done. Okay. That was the that was the part that was fine. Ideally, this is exactly fifty. Okay, it's pretty much best. I mean, it max rolled me, but I actually need more HP than it's ordinary, so um, it's okay. Oh, actually, it super max rolled me. That's actually really bad. Um, I X scissors here and I reversal here to get the KO. Okay, first I reversal. So here is where things can be really good or really bad. We've planned for the hard part. Um. We've planned for the bad part, chat. Which is that this is always Swallow. We all agree with that. And here's the hard part. Or here's the here's the kind of my little trick. I learned a new move at level 49. That's why the experience share is so important. And that move is extreme speed. So we're gonna put that over body slam, because there's never a reason that a body slam when I could extreme speed. That's gonna come into play later. Now swallow switches in here. I could have gone for the swallow here, but it doesn't really help me. Here's where things can get really good for me. If I'm really lucky, if I turbo high roll, if I'm super lucky. This is a 50% shot at Arcanine, we, or at, at Snorlax. Now we've planned for Tauros, which is probably what's gonna happen here, but we do have 50% chance of the time they're gonna go into Snorlax here, which is very, very, which would be super huge. Snorlax, show me Snorlax, not Tauros. Oh, we high rolled. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, okay. I planned for the hard part of this. Now we get to play the easy version. All right, all right, all right. I need to make sure I don't throw this though, because this is a random move on the, 
This is a random move on the Me Monkey slot, right? Um. Okay, let's slow down because I did not plan for this because it was not cons it was not consistent. So does Ancient Power does Rock Tomb KO Swellow? Why don't we calc that? Does not. Um, but that's still I think worth going for. Although what I could do here is, yeah, I'm gonna go for Rock Tomb here into the Swallow, I think. And I'm gonna switch to Colum. This is random move from the Swallow, but most of the moves are not that scary. Uh, I guess it's possible for me to be... No, okay. Okay. Um, so now is kind of the tricky part, although... Oh, it killed! Uh, that wasn't part of the plan. Oh, I just high rolled. Okay, Taurus comes in next. Okay. So Taurus is interesting. But the nice thing about Taurus is that it's predictable, right? So Taurus's moves, it's guaranteed to Iron Tail me here. It's guaranteed Iron Tail in both slots. So what I can do is I can... It's Iron Tail in both slots, right? Didn't I say that, didn't I say that, um, Blastoise plus Azumarill KOs here? Feels like I have the opportunity to stick the kill here. I feel like I should go for it. Iron Tail into I do like Blastoise. Is it actually maybe? Yeah, it's not bad. Um, drop point defense. That doesn't matter. Doesn't matter either. Because it didn't raise its own defense. So I have a safe. Superpower plus K up here for the KO. I take some recoil here, so Zoomer's kind of out of this fight for the rest of the battle, unfortunately. Should definitely kill. Thank you, 31 attack ID, Azumarill. Okay, um, let's see here. I don't care about that. Kangaskhan, its moves are. Crush Claw, Superpower. Here's the thing, Crush Claw is always more damage on both my mods, so it's guaranteed to, to Crush Claw either slot here, right? I rock? I think this is Fake Out. Getting an Intimidate down seems valuable to me, I don't know why necessarily, but it just feels good. Fake Out? Can we Fake Out? Show me Fake Out. Any Fake Outers in chat? Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. Uh, okay. Um, okay. Drop my defense. Okay, I probably need to switch that out, unfortunately. Um, Blastoise is never dead to superpower crit here, so is Arcanine dead to Crush Claw crit? Uh, Arcanine is never dead to Crush Claw crit, so what I can do here is, and neither is Blastoise, although Blastoise is not taking a Crush Claw crit, right? I can actually switch here to Tortle and Flamethrower. Get some damage down. Flamethrower plus Fake Out Flamethrower plus Flamethrower is a kill. But they're faster than me, right? Oh, but they take recoil here. Actually, the recoil's kind of nice, truthfully, because... Wait, is my primate faster than this? Because if it is... Is Fake Out plus Flamethrower plus Flamethrower plus Extreme Speed a kill? Um, probably, but not guaranteed. I can't tell from here. Um, this is always Fake Out, though, right? It could be Fake Out plus Switch, but I don't think it does anything to me. I think Fake Out plus Flamethrower should do it, for sure. Yeah, I mean, it's the odds of surviving this with the recoil. No, actually, it's guaranteed kill. It's guaranteed, guaranteed kills here. Oh, or that. Okay, cool. Um, okay, fine. And now we just beat the Snorlax. So we could PP Solid. That's one option. However, we don't actually need to do that, to be honest. It has guts? I don't care. Uh, Triad doesn't have guts. I don't need this one. I actually don't know which one it has. Maybe it is, but it's resting now. Battle isn't over yet. Actually, I believe it is, according to my calculation. Because I don't have Endure, my primate. My moves are Brick Break, Reversal, Rock Slide. What's my last move, chat? Uh, endure? I think it might be Endure. Is it an Endure? I think it might be- I have Endure, right? Isn't that my- I think it starts with an E-N-D? I think it's Endure. Yeah, let's just- let's just go for Fake Out here to see what happens, and uh, maybe Endure could be good? Bop. Yeah, 
They're pretty strong, as I recall. Whew. All right. Now we're just reversal, and it doesn't have quick claw or anything. Yeah, so prime move actually was pretty good here for a number of reasons, but yeah, being able to clean up this this um the Snorlax was really nice. Zero Death Norman, let's go, let's go. We prepared for a much harder fight than we got, but that's way better because if we if we just banged against Snorlax, then yeah, then it would have been it would have been really bad if it went the other way, but. Five badges and no deaths on no deaths on Norman. We only had one death on the split, which was Dawn Fan. And I think that means that our team gets a lot stronger. GG's we both played that. <laughs> because now we get not only Salamence, but we also get Flag on. You had a new model encounter now? Oh true. Albert, thank you for the prime. Oh man, how long do we spend on prep here? It feels like we spent like two hours on prep. Uh-oh, next battle. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, like we were prepared for a much harder fight. We just like won a 50-50. Like, I think it was smart of us to spend super long on prep because this is gonna be a lot harder if we didn't win the 50-50. Which is like, in my opinion, the best way to play Pokemon is like, you always plan for the worst case scenario, but if things go well for you, then like you just benefit, right? It's like, okay, I was prepared for wor like harder battle. Okay, let's heal. Chat, I'm feeling good. I feel really good about that. I'm not gonna lie. You got Love and Citrus now, too? Okay. I don't know what happens next. Ba, ba, ba. Hey, I want the music for this one. All right, Salamence. You're Jerry's replacement. How did you find Bagon? Oh, it's guaranteed in this game. If you go to the top four of Mirage Tower. What in the world were you planning to do before you actually made a Stone Journey set? <laughs> Wait, I think the level cap didn't work. I added Winona. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> And I talked to Aaron Trailer messaged me and he was like, I think if somebody, saw, if we had recorded your Stone Journey prep, like people legitimately would have quit the game over it. And like, I actually agree with him. Ba, 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 ba. I feel like I just got like a lot stronger. I don't know about y'all, but like good IVs meant and then bad IVs fly gone. Seems kind of nice. It's kind of nice to me, dog. Not sure it's better than Dawn Fan. Uh, people quit the game, they start your Stony J prep. It's not that the, the prep itself was bad. The prep itself was really bad, but compared to the result, I, I just think it might be, like... Yeah, it might be... I don't know. I'd probably love demoralizing. 119 speed to 109 speed. 88 special defense, so it's not good. 202 special defense. 90 to 145 special attack. 93 to 100 defense. 150 attack to 117 attack, and then 164 HP. Mensa stats are so good. All right, cool. Um, What do I do? I go to I go to Mudsdale. I go to Mudsdale. I go to Mudsdale. I go to Mauville. Oh, I wish there's so much money in repeat balls. Oh, I feel so bad. Wait, is there something back there? I feel like there is. Nope. Okay. Cool. I'm leading with Jumpluff. We are praying. This encounter is kind of a big deal. Not to stress you all out. But it feels like this encounter is like a kind of massive deal. Okay. Here we go, chat. Not Electrode, not Electrode. Show me not Electrode. Ooh, that's quite nice. Hello. Pika. Pikachu. That's quite good. Show me the marbles. Give me a marbles. Hey, Raichu, I have an idea. You want to win the world championships? Huh? Hey, Raichu, hey, I got a plan for you. You want to win the world championships, kid? I think you got what it takes. Yeah, right. Get in the Pokeball, see? Yeah, yeah, come win the world. Shoot. Come on, show me the mun. No, it's not the mun. Yes! <laughs> Electro would have been a big disaster. We win world. Lonely, very bad. Mm, Lonely's quite bad. Alright, let's check the ideas on this thing. Speed is bad. Speed is quite bad, actually. Speed is actually close to zero. How close are we to zero? Uh, you know, speed idea four or five. Special defense, also bad. Uh, six or seven, special defense, okay. Special attack, uh-oh. Seven or eight, special attack, defense, uh-oh. Uh, two or three, special defense, okay. Attack, this is the worst IVs I've ever seen in my life. Seven attack IV and HP. My highest IV is eight. Eight, seven, three, eight, six, five. 
It's a phone number! This is the worst Raichu I've ever seen in my life with a terrible nature. Nothing is above 10! Nothing is above 8! My highest IV is 8! My average IV is 4! Should I release it? This one ain't winning worlds? Oh god.